Orville Reynolds and Lavelle Jackson are deep, and we are underway from Tallahassee. Here's Reynolds from the four-yard line. And no running room as he is spilled at the 16. And Price to the air. Going to float it downfield. Broken up. Incomplete. Xavier Harris had coverage on the intended receiver, Sherman Raglan. Well, Xavier Rhodes, one of the best defensive backs in all the ACC, and you'll see why here. Just man-to-man -man coverage. Great job running. First it's the speed, and then it's looking back to the quarterback, and then the athletic ability, getting up in the air. Don't talk much about the jumping ability of corners, but when you're small. Second and ten. And Price, again, downfield, broken up, and then Campanero gets lit up. Oh. Price facing pressure and sack. The Arn Werner is the focal point for offenses off the edge. He's got so much speed. He's slimmed down a little bit this year, lost 10 pounds. He goes right around the right tackle, Colin Summers, and he is one of those game-changing type of defensive ends. I know it's in progressions, Dave. I'm impressed with you drawing up that play. <laughs> Manuel almost throws an interception, a dangerous pass to Rashad Green, but now he's loose. Pushed out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Third and two, they got the big back, James Wilder Jr. in the game, and here he is. And Wilder has speed as well as size. Takes on the corner, dumped out of bounds in the 49, a 14-yard gain. Wake and that loss. Second and 10, Manuel with a pitch. And down to the 43-yard line is James Wilder Jr. Harris and hard to run outside against Florida State. No gain of the play. Tackle made by Terrence Brooks. You know, third down and five from the 10 after a two yard loss. And that's going nowhere. Pass to Campanaro and Nick Wayson is right there. First down for FSU. And here's Chris Thompson on the cutback inside the 30. And Thompson. Lost the ball at the 15 yard line. They're going to rule him down though at the 14. On second and 12, here's an option, and Manuel will keep inside the five. Manuel dives, touchdown! <laughs> Manuel showing his strength, little agility, and then stretching out for the touch. 7 0 FSU. Blake clock at two. He'll hand it off again on second down, and Harris is stuffed. Florida State. Will punt it from inside his five. Third time he's done that. Low snap. And Green fields it at the 40 yard line. Slips a couple of tackles. And Green in the middle of the field with a kicker to beat. Green being chased at the 15. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Knowles. A 60 yard punt return for a touchdown. They had a shot, Kevin Johnson, number nine, takes a shot. The first guy just takes a shot, and then the other guys need to rally. Problem was, they didn't have the wall set up, and when you gave a guy with the speed of green, he beat them for 160 yards through the air last year. They know how dangerous he is, one of the fastest knolls on this team, and he made him pay. And boy, just looking at Florida State yesterday in a walkthrough and watching them in warmups, considering for a while out of them, I think that's what you're seeing from Florida State defensively. Here's Chris Thompson on first down. It's nailed, but able to leap past the 40 to the. Josh Harris, and that ain't working. Pushed out of bounds on the far side after another loss. Now's the time, if you're the offensive corner, you might want to call a drop back pass, because I think you've got enough of a pocket for Tanner Price to throw it down the field. So third down and seven. Wake yet to convert on third down, and they won't hear a price sacked at the 45-yard line. I take that back. Maybe there isn't a pocket to throw in. You know, Tank Carradine is, is uh, you know, more than capable of replacing Brandon Jenkins. You see they flip sides like they wanted to get Warner in a matchup, but actually Carradine gets there first, and uh, right now it's a feast in the backfield for Florida State. Manuel takes the high snap on first down. He's across the 15, stays in bounds, 
and then pushed out at the 27-yard line. It's pressure, and then another four months, they'll have to go in and take those screws out. There's a big run from Chris Thompson. Past the 50-yard line, he can outrun the defender. Breaks a tackle at the 20. Thompson's in, touchdown. 74-yard touchdown scamper by Chris Thompson. Thompson should go over and give his offensive line a handshake. Great hole for him to get through, and then it's speed to the end zone. I'd say that the big play is back in Tallahassee. Defensively, you're going to see the blitz come off the edge. That leads to a rotation by the safety, and then you got Riley Haynes left on an island, and when Trey Jackson gets up and gets him reached, there's nobody left, and it's a house call for Chris Thompson. All you need is that crease, one cut, and then the speed. And uh, Wake Forest, because of their lack of size, has to take those chances in getting pressure, and Florida State made him pay. Second and four. And plus in trouble again, sacked again. Werner and Carradine both back there. It'll bring up third down and long. See, and then as we look at the replay, the news this week, there's also penalty flag down. But the news this week about Notre Dame joining the ACC for all sports except football and hockey. 20 million to 50, yeah. which is one of the most interesting parts of that whole equation. Here comes a reverse pass, and Martin in trouble. Down he goes at the 25, another loss of five on the play. Carradine was there, there was coverage. The problem is, watch back here, nobody bites, and uh, there's good coverage, nowhere for Martin to throw that football, and he had to take the sack. It's not a good matchup when you have your quarterback blocking Bjorn Warner in protection. Here's Chris Thompson, who's already rushed for over 100 yards here in the first half, and he's loose again. Thompson into Wake territory. Has a blocker helping him, and Thompson will score. There is a penalty flag down, though, around the 20-yard line. On the left side of your screen, you see the guilty man for the <laughs> sideline penalty. It didn't cost him a touchdown. I mean, I know it's a good game with a lot of athletes, but you can't <laughs> just official. be spectating. You know? <laughs> How about the forearm shiver from the official there? <laughs> Get out of the way. i got to catch up to this guy, make sure he scores. Wake was hoping for a kickoff into the end zone so they could get a touchback. Here's Martin going nowhere, upended at the line of scrimmage. Turnovers and, and penalties, so they do not look good. Third down and 10. Here's a screen pass to Thompson. He's got three blockers out there. Thompson inside the 20, has the first down as he's upended at the 13-yard line. One of the questions coming in this year from Florida State were the offensive line. Let's take a look at them on the screen. I know they're big, but are they athletic? Trey Jackson, 54, gets a great block on the corner, and then around the horn, another good block by Brian Stork, the center. Impressive. When you're that big, 320 pounds, and you're 15 yards downfield blocking linebackers and safety, that's a good sign for your offense. Very inexperienced group up front, but playing well today. Run play on first down to Wilder. Oh, what balance by Wilder. Put his hand down, got those strong legs, and he pushed forward for about nine yards. Hard to bring down. When you see him, he's just a, a tremendous looking athlete. Oh. And that's <laughs> uh, 19 yard field goal from Dustin Hopkins. And so it is 31 to nothing. Florida State. I know Tom Luganbill, our expert, thought so. Here's an end around to Raglan, and he's going to get dragged down by the other defensive end, Bjorn Warner. The second down and nine. Inside run to Harris, and gang tackled after a gain of one. Here. Only one catch for Campanero, but no yards. Josh Harris on the stretch. He gets pummeled. Vince Williams flying into the backfield. Vince Williams is the beneficiary. Take a look at this in your living room. Looks pretty good in 3D, I'm sure. <laughs> Although Florence for Baylor looked pretty good. <laughs> Fourth down and a deep pass that's overthrown. So Hugh Freeze is done down there and he has some talent on offense. Manuel underneath and Hagens has the first down. Spin. Run, run, run. 
Devontae Freeman will get the call on third down. And he's going to be close to a first down as he's taken down at the 20 yard line this season. Manuel again to throw in trouble. And he's out of there. And then going to throw in zone. Man wide open. Standing there. It's a touchdown for Rodney Smith. 37 nothing Florida State. And Manuel going to throw on first down, dumping it off to Pryor. And he's got a first down, a gain of 12. Here's the third member, second and three. Dragged down in the backfield, the ball out. Recovered, though. Harris was taken down by Hanover. Everybody talks about Bjorn Warner and his pass rush ability in third down situations, but take a look at him against the run. To be a complete player, you got to play against the run. That time takes on the block, keeps his leverage, and makes a play. Nice job by Bjorn Warner, who. Haters tonight. Meanwhile, Campanero on a reverse is tackled for a loss. There's a penalty flag down as Carradine makes the stop. First down and 20 for Wake. Play action for Price. Gonna go deep for Campanero. Broken up, incomplete. Xavier Rhodes making the play. You saw him jump and dive and tip a ball away early in the game. Watch this elevation. Get up there and tip that football away. That's why pro scouts are really excited about Xavier Rhodes. His ability is okay today. Second down and 20. An inside run. Nope. Loss on the play. Everybody in the backfield for Florida State. Let's uh, four years at Florida State. Played with a broken leg in the bowl game last year. His throw here caught by the tight end, Nick O'Leary. It's a first down grab. Catch the year, 12 catches a year ago. Did not play last week against Savannah State. Wilder. Powers to the 37 yard line gain of eight great play play fake and a dump off here to Pryor good block on the outside by the receiver Rodney Smith and Pryor is into weight territory to the 46 yard line but the benefits in the safety is worth it pass downfield is caught for a first down at the 19 by Shaw for more third down and nine Manuel with a ton of time, gonna go end zone wide open. Did he keep a foot down? Yes, touchdown, Kenny Shaw. He was so open, he had time to look down where he was, then look back up at the ball. Great, great awareness by Kenny Shaw. He had that left toe down. As the fourth quarter begins, it's 45-0 FSU. Cross. Dumping it off to DeAndre Martin on third down and eight. And he'll lose yardage again. The fourth down at about 10. Spillman's calling the game on ABC, along with his uh, former broadcast partner. Good catch there by Kelvin Benjamin, another young player that Florida State really likes. Richard Freshman. That was Clint Benjamin. Trick at throwing him the ball. About 20 more pounds in the offseason, and he's still a little skinny. He can use a few more pounds, but good to see him back. There's a run play to the 34 for Wilder. Yeah, Trickett deals with FSU teams from the 90s. Everybody on their starting offensive line is over 300. Trickett, and there's Benjamin. Beautiful catch. Helmet comes off, but it's on the defender, so the play doesn't stop. It keeps going. And so this is a name that you're going to want to remember. If you're a Florida State fan, if you don't already know it, Kelvin Benjamin, nice route. That's what I've been looking for from Benjamin. I went down the field before the game. I know he's big, 6'5". He's 240. Be another handoff. First down and more. Into the end zone to Braille Smiley for the Florida State touchdown. It's 51 zip. Horse Renegade out on the field after every touchdown because he'd be awfully tired. And third string tailback Orville Reynolds getting the call. Another negative play. And these are the backups on defense for Florida State. Saying something when you consider Deion Sanders. Played here. Underneath to Matt James. He gets lit up at the 25 yard line. Those are three big wins for the Pac 12. We'll find out how good Arizona State is when they play at Missouri tonight. Right. Here's Trickett and Benjamin up high. What a catch. <laughs> and he made the grab. Well, I, yeah, I think it was higher than seven feet. That may have been up around 10 <laughs> feet, but you see the length of Benjamin and this is what's gotten the, all the people that have seen him in practice really excited is his ability to go up extend and secure that football. Here's Wilder. 
Look at Stefan, four guys into Wake Forest territory to the 45 yard line. And then, oh, by the way, Taj Boyd can run. So, you know, how are you going to defend against that attack? That's something that Mark Stoops probably, you know, I, by the way, Wake is one of 15 on third down. Sousa taken down for a loss. Fourth down. Think about it. Last week, they didn't play a full game. There's about nine minutes left in the third quarter when the game was called because of the weather. Good run by Wilder and some pushing and shoving after the play. Jacob Coker, who's coming in to play quarterback, didn't like it. Didn't like the hit he took. Well, the fans he, like his response, though. He was delivering. He was blocking for his uh, for his halfback. And Coker is no small guy. 6'6", 227 pounds. Watch him try to get a block right here. Good form. Oh, kick out. And the guy who didn't like it was Bassley on the other side. So, how's that not a penalty? It takes a guy's head and shoves it into the ground. That's Ramsey. Excuse me. Good thing. Uh, not a bad thing. Coker. Throws a dart, and it's caught by Christian Green as the first down. 38 nothing at the half. Florida State wins going away, 52 to nothing over Wake Forest.